London's Ecuadorian embassy, the battleground for a diplomatic tug of war. Holed up in the embassy since June, on Thursday, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange finally got the answer he'd been waiting for. The government of Ecuador, loyal to its tradition of protecting those looking for safety in its territory or inside one of its diplomatic missions, has decided to give diplomatic asylum to citizen Julian Assange. Patino said his government reached its decision after Britain, Sweden and the United States refused to guarantee Assange would not be extradited to the United States. He argued the Australian activist would not get a fair trial if he is eventually sent to the US after publishing a trove of classified documents. All legal appeals in the UK have been exhausted, but British authorities say they are bound by law to extradite Assange to Sweden, where he's wanted for questioning about allegations of rape and sexual assault. His supporters, however, are as fervent as ever. We do so what the British government is doing. He's done so much for freedom of press. Um, there's nothing actually that he's done wrong. The decision for, uh, to give him uh, asylum is, 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 a great, is a great decision. We're very happy with that. We just don't know how he's actually going to get out of the uh, embassy. And that's the sticking point. Assange may have been granted asylum in Ecuador, but somehow he has to get there from London. The UK Foreign Office has warned it could remove the Ecuadorian embassy's diplomatic status, which would allow police to enter and remove Assange. It's a battle all sides are determined to win.